Pluto. Pluto stretched our knowledge of the universe during the dawn of the solar system. The dwarf planet, which is located in the distant Kuiper belt, is thought to be one of the numerous celestial objects that were left over after the solar system formed. Pluto, formerly considered the ninth planet in our solar system, is now classified as a dwarf planet. It resides in the Kuiper belt, a region beyond Neptune that is home to many small, icy objects. Pluto has a unique place in scientific and cultural history, as it symbolizes the ongoing exploration and re-evaluation of our understanding of the solar system. Despite its small size and remote location, it continues to captivate our curiosity, thanks in part to spacecraft missions like NASA's New Horizons, which provided valuable data and images of Pluto. Pluto, although is one of the Kuiper Belt's biggest objects, is only roughly two-thirds the size of Earth's moon. This makes it much smaller than the eight true planets in our solar system. This tiny planet takes 248 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun, and it does so from an average distance of more than 3.6 billion miles. Due to its great distance from the Sun, Pluto experiences incredibly cold temperatures on its surface, ranging between minus 375 and minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold temperatures of this planet play a crucial role in shaping the geological composition of Pluto. Its core, likely made of rock and metals, is encapsulated by a mantle made of ice. The dwarf planet's crust is made of rock material and other types of ice such as frozen carbon monoxide, methane, and nitrogen. Covering Pluto's vast 6.4 million square miles of surface are frozen gases. This icy landscape might remind you of Earth, with polar ice caps, valleys, plains, and craters. There are even glaciers made of frozen nitrogen. And on the surface, you'll find enormous floating mountains made of frozen water. All these diverse features are shaped by weather patterns and an atmosphere. Although Pluto's atmosphere is quite different from Earth's, it's thin and extends to a high altitude due to Plot's low gravity. Its gravity is only about 6% as strong as Earth's. Pluto's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen and methane gases, along with red hydrocarbon particles that scatter sunlight giving Pluto its blue skies. Pluto has five moons, with the biggest one called Charon, which is about half the size of Pluto itself. The other four moons, named Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, are way smaller. It's interesting to note that, while the eight true planets in our solar system were discovered by the mid-1800s, Pluto wasn't spotted until 1930. Pluto was once thought of as the ninth planet, named after the Roman god of the underworld. What has happened that Pluto lost its status as an actual planet and was named a dwarf planet? In fact, Pluto hasn't changed, but our scientific knowledge has come a long way and grown drastically. With today's advanced technology, Scientists determined that Pluto no longer fits the definition of a true planet. Pluto was discovered in 1930, not even a hundred years ago. To understand why Pluto is not considered to be a true planet anymore, let's take a look at the recent definition of a planet that was revealed by scientists. In the history of astronomy, there have been various planet definitions. Back in Galileo's time, Scientists believed anything orbiting the Sun was a planet. Then, in 1801, Ceres was discovered. 
a small object orbiting the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Soon, they discovered more and more such objects orbiting the sun. Scientists called them asteroids. In 1930, Pluto was discovered. Initially, scientists thought it was as big as Neptune. But as technology improved, they realized Pluto was much smaller. By 2006, using new technology, scientists obtained the exact size of Pluto, showing that Pluto's size was half the size of the Earth's moon. Interestingly, Pluto's moon is about half the size of Pluto itself, and this moon has enough gravity to displace Pluto. However, after the discovery of Eris, scientists re-evaluated Pluto and decided it didn't meet the criteria to be a full-fledged planet. Instead, it's considered a dwarf planet. In 2006, Scientists came up with a new definition of a planet, which made Pluto lose its status as a true planet. The International Astronomical Union evaluated Pluto using specific criteria for a true planet. It must go around the sun. It should not be a moon and has enough mass and gravitational pull to assume a round shape. However, it was the fourth characteristic that compromised Pluto's status, its inability to clear its orbit of debris. Pluto was reclassified from being a full-fledged planet to a dwarf planet. This shift in Pluto's status shows how our knowledge about the universe is always changing. There's always more to learn, and we keep striving to uncover it.